Hello, this is a short instructional video on the differences between range compliance and real compliance on the model 2400 source meter from Keithley. To show the difference between real and range compliance, let's use the ohms measurement function since we have a 1K resistor on here. So we'll select ohms by pressing the ohms button. But for this, we need to be in manual ohm so we can control the source and the me measurement. So let's select configure, ohms, source. We'll go to manual, press enter, exit. Now, it automatically comes up with 10 microamps and a compliance of 2.1 volts. Well, let's just see if that works. There we go. It's a 1K resistor. It's sourcing 10 microamps up to 2.1 volts. We're reading 1K ohms. Great. Now, let's show real compliance. Real compliance is when we exceed this value here. So to do that, let's source a little more current. We'll press edit, up the range a little bit. Let's go to maybe 10 milliamps. As soon as we do, look, the value goes down and this compliance is blinking. What it's trying to tell me is, is it's, I'm trying to sort 10 milliamps into 1K, which would be 10 volts. It can't get there from here because of this 2.1 volts. So the compliance is, fl is flashing, trying to tell you that. So let's put it back. We'll just go back to something like this. 105 microamps, that's fine. Now let's show range compliance. Range compliance is when this guy is going to flash because the measurement range is incorrect. So let's go up to one milliamp. Okay, so now it's, it's still fine, one milliamp up to 2.1 volts could only be one volt. But what we do is go to measurement range, a voltage, go down a range, and notice the V is flashing. It's trying to say I can't measure that one volt on the 200 millivolt range. So range compliance is on the measurement range. That is the difference between the two compliances.